Now we are going to discuss dynamic testing versus static testing. The first point of difference is static testing is done without execution of code whereas in dynamic testing we are executing the code. Let's try to illustrate this with an example. Let us say that we have a customer requirement that states window shall move up when up button is pressed and shall move down when down button is pressed. To fulfill this requirement you have to write a code for it. Now suppose a developer has written this piece of code. This is a function where he is trying to implement the customer's requirement. When button is pressed, if button equals to up then move up otherwise move down. Our task as a tester is to check whether this piece of code is satisfying the requirement or not. And this type of testing is known as static testing. So let's try to test this piece of code. Here it says if up button is pressed then move up. But if up button is not pressed then move down. If you execute this code then the window will never stop moving. It will move up when up button is pressed. But the moment you release the button it will start moving down. This means this piece of code is not fulfilling the requirement. So this is how we find defect through static testing. Why do we call this static? Because when I was performing this test the code was not moving. It was in one place. This is why this type of testing is called static testing. So this is it from static testing. Now let's move to the dynamic part. Dynamic testing requires you to study the behavior. Here if you press the button or if you press the down button then the window moves down. You aren't bothered about the code or how it is written. When you press the up button the window will move up and when you press the down button it will start moving down. So here what you need to remember is static testing is carried out without the execution of code while dynamic testing requires execution of code. Now let's move to the second point in their difference. Static testing is conducted in the verification stage whereas dynamic testing is performed in the validation stage. Let's find out what they mean by verification stage and validation stage. So here we have the life cycle of a software development activity. First you have a user requirement, next a system requirement, then a global requirement, after that you have a detailed design. Once you have a detailed design then you can start writing a code. Now static testing is done in the early stages when you only have the documents. As you can see you don't have the code here and if you don't have a code then you cannot run a software. When we have only documents then we can only perform a static testing. We can carry out a verification because we cannot run the code. So there are two stages. The first part is for static testing but once the code is ready you can perform the dynamic testing because now you can run the code. So this is why static testing is done in the verification stage whereas dynamic testing is done in the validation stage. Now let's move to the third difference. Static testing is cost effective whereas dynamic testing is less cost effective. Let's try to understand this. As we saw this diagram, let's assume you were in the requirement stage and you found the defect in the requirement stage itself. Since you found defect in the same stage, cost to fix the defect is less. But suppose you are in the dynamic testing that means you are already here. Now if you find the defect at this stage and after analysis you come to know this defect is present here because of the requirement then you have to change all these documents. This will require more people to solve the problem and this will cause more. So this is the reason we said Static testing is cost effective whereas dynamic testing is less cost effective. Before we end this lecture, let's have a look into the important points. The first point is 
static testing is conducted without execution of code. Dynamic testing requires execution of code. Second point is static testing is performed in the verification stage whereas dynamic testing is performed in the validation stage. Third point is static testing is cost effective while dynamic testing is less cost effective. And there is a fourth point about example that I want to add here. Static testing examples are walkthrough and code review whereas with dynamic testing you have to perform functional or non-functional testing. Thank you.